I'm Fatili Ayodili. I want to welcome us to this um, lecture for today. Today we are going to learn how to use Primavera P6 to create a program of work. So we want to launch our Primavera P6. We are on the interface. I enter the password. This lecture is a sequel to the first um, lecture we had where we did introduction about um, Primavera P6. We were able to get ourselves familiarized with the interface and um, today we are going to be moving forward by looking at how we can use Primavera P6 to um, come up with a simple design, I mean a simple program of work. For the sake of this training, we are going to to look at um, a very simple program. Um, the idea is that if you are able to get it done small, when you have a complex project, um, it is the same principle that you are going to use to, to come up with a program of work all right so um a little bit of a recap um this we have our menus on the top here we have our file here um you can use it to set your printing you can use to import and export you can use it to refresh your data we have um the view from, I mean the edit menu the most important thing here I think is the user preference here you set your time you want the minutes to show you can click minutes but if you do this it can alter your program of work it can make a lot of changes so it's better we leave this out decimals for time zero is okay your unit of time day is, is good right you can set your date the that date format the options the time do you want don't want to show your time you want to show your time 24 hours 12 hours your currency which is very important your currency which is very very important we do not have um, okay so you can look at your assistance do you want um, the wizard for creating new resource and creating new activity applications for sorting and what do you want to see with your window startup when you start up your window what do you want to see do you want to see activities first do you want to see projects first do you want to see the welcome startup right the password you want to change your password result and resource analysis calculations you can make a lot of changes here all right and the startup filters that's, that's what we have under user preference it's always important you set that before you start your planning per se all right we go to view we have the layout you can select um, different layouts um, based on um, on what you want I'm saving this as project all right so there's so many layouts that um, you can pick and you can save your own as well all right okay so that is for how you want to see your what do you want to see on top of your view what do you want to see at the bottom do you want to see your detail the detail is there if you don't want anything you just click uh, no bottom 
and then the detail is out if you want it you can click detail if you want to move your, your view to to see what will suit your purpose as you wish you can amend as um, you want so you should be able to move around your window easily without um, any problem the idea is if you are accustomed with your windows I mean your interface you will not have any problem in navigating the interface easily you can um, format your bar as you want you can filter you can set your time scale you can add columns if you want to add columns you can just um, add columns if there is a particular um, column that you want to add and it's not there because we have so many here you can just um, just just click find next so actual duration you can pick that um, total float you can pick that um, what else stats actual stats whatever you want ordinary stats then um, you can click finish finish here you can add finish to the list so you can cancel you can apply it's already there if you want to move you can easily move your stats by clicking down holding your mouse down and shifting it to where you want it you want your finish to come after that you can put it there so actual duration I still want more columns um, I want more columns I want actual start and actual finish so I come here I click find actual start okay can double click the two of them actual finish I click apply you see them there I click OK so project ID actual start actual finish um, start comes first finish follows All right so um there's another way you can change the layout to suit your purpose if you don't want to um, start creating these columns one by one which is more smarter you go to view you go to layout open all right so i can easily open layout all right so you need to assess your projects um, any existing project there then you will have access to some of this layout if you click this if you want to see what it gives you you click um, apply you can see um, let's close it so you can see what we have here all right let's try that again you go to view you go to open click yes all right so you see a lot of um, um type of layout schedule analysis um this is always very good um schedule layout you can check it you can see the difference of total float so let's just stick to this. I will advise us that we stick to classic EPS 
WPS layout alright so so you can do that if you don't want to see this you can just go to your view you want to remove this you go to your view you bottom no bottom layout everything goes all right for the safe of creation so we go back to our project um okay so that is um by layout um if you want to see other um items under view you click this arrow down then how you want your view to be your bar um, your columns your time scale that is the time time scale here yeah. you want it to be three tier or you want it to be two tier you can see i've turned it to three tier and um, you see three tier here. so you can customize that as you want um we're just doing a recap your time scale is there you can sort and file and um, we go to project under project if you click activity you go back to activity assignments that um, have been given to resources wps how to do baseline expenses under enterprise we have project tracking everything is available here under tools this is where your analysis comes to play and you, you 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 design your result as you want and admin the most critical thing there is the admin um, preferences you can do a lot of customization on this side so don't let's forget that um, we have our directional or navigation um icons on this side don't let's forget if you want to open a new one you want to go to a project you want to go to your resources you want to do reports you want to track and you need more you can always add more icon here all right this is your, your activities your wps that's work and breakdown structure source assignment your documents um, your expenses your risk if you want more you can add um, these are the things you can add you can add threshold issues baseline assignment team and stuff like that and we should not forget that on our right hand side we have um the, the 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 tools bar right we have the tools bar and the display bar we have the display bar here we have the tools bar here okay so what we want to do today is to create a simple program we are going to create a simple program and the idea is that um, we should get ourselves um, custom to the interface okay so to create a new program a, a new project sorry is either you come to this side or you come to this side all right so I want to come to this side and I want to create a new project so let's we the, the, the group of project is enterprise let's leave it at enterprise we are not going to touch it all right so when you come here you are creating that project using a wizard it's going to take you to it's going to ask you some questions and then um, as you navigate that question by the time you are done your program is your project is created so we can give um give this um project um, a code and id we can give it this project a code we can say um project oh one right so project name how to make a simple program okay that is the name that we have decided to call this new project that we want to do okay then you click next when you click next then the start date which is today's date is um the date of the day you are um designing um creating that project will come out so i'm assuming i leave it like this if it's, it's a project that has a constraint i can um use that here when there's a constraint when there's a date that you need to finish it all right so we click next the enterprise manager let's leave it as enterprise we have, because i have not set the enterprise for this um it's a new um it's a blank um more or less like blank copy i mean blank um, software there's only one project that i've imported there okay so i've not set the 
uh, OBS hierarchy all right the price let's leave it there um, then we have a message congratulations saying that um, we have been successful in creating a project but we need to complete that process by clicking finish all right so we have clicked the uh, finish and this is our project okay so now to now enter your project what you do is you right click all right you now click open project so when you are in open project what we want to do now is i want to create um work packages based on my work breakdown structure it means i'm going to group my activities together under um, a, 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 a structure all right work package all right, what do i do i go to my wps icon all right then i click um hard i, I right click all right i click hard so today we are going to create a simple skyscraper project but just few um, uh, stages that are involved in the creation of a skyscraper um, uh, so is that how you come from here to create your project make sure you are under project or you come from here to create your project all right so what we want to do now is to come here um, let's leave it as enterprise is a group of projects named enterprise okay so the project id we can say pj001 all right so the project name sky scraper we click next so the project start date we leave the project start date if there is a particular date that the project has to be completed you click um you you select a particular um date here but we are going to leave that so you click next um the responsible manager this is a blank um, um p6 so i have not really created the ops and every other thing so we leave it at enterprise then we go to the assignment rate we still leave it there for now um then you see a congratulations but we need to complete that process by also clicking finish all right so we have clicked finish so we have our sky scraper all right so what you now need to do is to enter into that project you need to enter into that project how do you do that you make sure it's highlighted all right then you you right click you you right click you then you select open project so when you select open project all right you can see that you are on eps w place layout all right so the next thing we want to do now is we want to select you want to add if you click here you will directly add activities all right but we don't want to add activities if you click here also you will add activities we don't want to add activities because we are going to group the activities together so you will need to use the next level of um, hierarchical arrangement that is so you go back to your our new project which is skyscraper so what we just need to do is to click then we open project all right now we have opened a project we don't want to go to act we are in activity but we don't want to go to activities straight because we want there are some activities and has to be grouped together so we we need to select the wps so that um we are able to do that all right you can see we are in the wps layout now so what do we want to do we want to look at the global stages that we are going to be using for this um um skyscraper so you click add all right so you have clicked add so you can this is giving you um the code of um 
so you can say sk sk one all right so we can call this initiation okay you click add you can say planning you can see that based on the code that i gave the first one it is already assigning some numbers so i need to give it a very simpler code so that it um it makes the job very easy let's just say one all right so you can also see that it is giving me an higher a level difference already which i don't want i want them to be on the same level because it's showing that um planning is a subset of initiation which i don't want i want them to be at the same level what i do is i come to my arrow here since it's already selected i make sure i click the arrow that goes to the left so that i can see that everything is um on the same level all right so if i click add again i get another one i need to come here to be sure that everything is okay all right so this will now be the execution stage right i click um hard again i need to continue to press this to be to ensure that um they are on the same um level right so monitoring and control all right then i click another hard which will be i don't need to bother myself about the numbering because it's already numbering it for me based on the project code that i have chosen just need to bother myself about um the the wps name so the last one is close out all right close out okay so I have been able to I need to make sure the error key is the same all right so I've created five work breakdown structure can I look let me look at how it's going to how the network diagram will be let's see from the chart you, you click this chart view you can see what you have if you want to see a better view you can take this down so this shows the relationship between the the project and the work um, packages this is the work breakdown structure like i said you can always assess this view when you click this icon here all right so if you want to navigate away from this view all you just need to do is to close it because you can see that this is highlighted just come here you close it all right so you are back to your project so you can always click your project you can always open the project all right so we have seen that okay we can always go back here okay so these are the these are the work um breakdown structure like them we have five of them we have the initiation we have the planning we have the execution monitoring and control and um, close up so for us to be able to create um for us to be able to create um activities under this you need to click it then you need to click hard So for you to create activities under the WBS, you will need to click activity and you need to check your layout. Your layout should be under classic schedule layout. 
if your layout is not under classic schedule layout you will not um, get this view right if you go to this the view might be different but if you go to this you will see something else right you can see that so make sure it's in classic schedule layout there you are able to create um, activities under your you are able to create activities <coughs> under your your WPS so I'm going to delete this new activity on top all right so we have our first activity now looking at the activity ID you can see that the activity okay if I create another one let's see what happens I've seen can see the incremental um, numbering that um, Primavera P6 is given to these activities. You can decide to leave this activity I mean, activity ID, but if you so wish to change them, you can always change them to any um, uh, pattern, any nomenclature that you want to use for them. But may have creating activities like this um the the numbering will just um continue to increase okay so we want to look at the activities that we can create under initiation we can say um initiate um initiate project all right um then we can have um project brief we can have project brief okay we can have project brief okay so those activities should be okay under uh, initiation this is just um, to make us have idea of what um, we want to do so if you want to create another activity under planning you just right click then you click hard you can see the 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 the, the, the nomenclature the, the naming sequence and pattern for those activities they are incremental to the tone of uh, 10 and uh, digits all right so um project build has been given then the planning starts um you can say we can have architectural architectural design all right um so let's create um, a lot of activities under this let's create a lot of activities um just right click you click hard right right click you click hard you can have your soil test you can have your structural depending on the kind of project that we are doing we should always know that um, the sick the details of the activities and then um, the sequence of the activities depends on the kind of project um, that we are doing so it is our responsibility if we are if we need to design a program of work to get what um, to, to, to get what um, is required or the activities and the steps that are required in a project and how the, the relationship between those activities all right so we can now for planning we are doing our actual design our soil test our structural design mechanical design electrical design all right so um execution then the last thing is um let me add one more activity there um, let me call it um, workshop drawings. Workshop um, drawings. I can 
I can say I want my workshop joint to be ready also before the project um, starts. Alright, so I want to add activities under execution. So we also need to know, okay, I want to add activities um, under execution. Okay, let's go. So let's add more activities. So under execution, what are the things that I'm going to do? Um, mobilization to site to, to site, right? Um, of course, let's just summarize what we are doing. Foundation. Um, you can always right click and add as many activities as you want depending on your project foundation you can have um super structure right um, you can have finishes finishes okay let, let's add more activities there um add um m and mep right so let's leave that for the activities under execution then under monitoring uh, we had just one activity for the sake of um okay we have um change change yes, we have um scope verification this is where you do the monitoring per se all right and you do a lot of um, um, change management hardly will you see a project that you, what you have planned from the beginning is um, um, the same at the end of the day is usually not the same most times so change management change management okay so we have that under monitoring and control okay so then the last one is close out before you close out um, we have snagging um, then we have the last activity we have um, um, ending over and um, we have commissioning and ending over commissioning and and then over all right so i want to add one more okay project close out all right so we have been able to to populate our skyscraper project we have um five wps and we have activities under the five WPSs under initiation. We have two activities initiation, initiate project, project brief. Um, under planning, we have architectural design, soil test, structural design, mechanical design, electrical design, workshop. Under execution, we have mobilization to site, foundation, superstructure, finishes, and MEP. Under monitoring and control, we have scope verification, we have change management. Then under closeout, we have snagging, commissioning, and handover, then projects um, closeout. Okay, so now you can see the next thing we need to do is to um, add um, duration to these activities. All right, before we do that, we need to let's see what we have under general. So this activity, this first activity is initiate project. I want to make it a milestone. I want to make it a milestone. Um, by default, milestone has a zero duration. So also, but you need to know that when you are creating a new program by default, Primaria P6, we assign a duration of five days, and that's why you are seeing these five days, right? 
so let's let's begin to do some things so we have activity type for we are in activity one now okay let's say um, start milestone immediately I say start milestone you can see that that activity has turned to zero all right so let's assign duration to all the activities that we have let's assign duration to all the activities that we have project beef let's say 10 days um, architectural design um, let's say 14 days sorry test you get it within two weeks with the report mechanical mechanical drawing um, let's say draw this architectural footing do um oh, 60 and that was this um we have done this make electrical to express our zoom everything is two of this all right then we have um the last one is this two of this also all right okay so you can see all right so you can see that these activities are not properly arranged when we're entering <coughs> the duration everything got scattered so do not um all you just need to do is um you just come here you click on um, this when you click this you will see that the activities have been arranged back all right so we have fixed the duration for the planning then the execution uh, mobilization to site they need them um, five days okay then foundation let's assume we are going to spend 30 days 60 days on that foundation is a skyscraper all right um superstructure let's assume we're going to spend 100 days finishes let's assume we're going to spend another 100 then nap let's assume we're going to spend um another 100 all right so everything is still in order so monitoring and control is also um monitoring and control we are going to spend a lot of time here because monitoring and control and execution they go hand in hand so let's um it's going to take place throughout the course of the project change management also let's use that okay snagging for a skyscraper you need a lot of time let's say we are going to dedicate like 20 days for snagging maybe another 10 days for commissioning then project closeout is also a milestone so the type of activity we are going to to choose finish milestone right immediately i click finish milestone you can see that the duration has um uh, come to zero the duration has come to zero okay there's something we need to, we have not done that we need to do we were supposed to set our calendar we were supposed to set our calendar all right um to set our calendar we go to enterprise then we click calendars all right so by default uh, like you are seeing here is five day work week so the assumption is that we are not working on saturday all right but if you want to create your own um uh, your own a calendar if you want to work in six weeks you can you can do that you can say six day work week all right so you can six day work week you can modify it so to modify it what do you do it means you want to work on saturday you are going to start here you are going to make it work all right so that's how to do your 
your work week all right all saturdays you are going to ensure work week detailed work hour total work hour work week so you just um, allocate seven and a half hours has been allocated to this so you can make it eight you can make it eight you can make it eight hours so working on friday you're working on saturday eight hours maybe it's four hours or six hours that you work on on um on your saturday you can um you can do that so we have created a six work week all right you can can now assign in that problem so you shift that will be changed to display your resources okay, you can now assign um to to be used by project or to be used um by resources okay so we have done that so we close it all right we can come here you can say six day work week okay. click the plus sign to assign all right so you can see that that only worked for for one activity assuming we have done it from the beginning and we have selected it then we will be able to do that okay so what we have done now is we have um, created WPS we have created the activities we have created the duration so what we are supposed to do next is to now um, begin to um, fine-tune our program of work in terms of um, the details in terms of the details we have to fine-tune our work in terms of the details we need to establish the relationship we need to establish the relationship between all these activities all right so to do that usually we have predecessor and we have successor what we need to do we need to start with this activity then you can always use this to navigate all right and uh, between activities um, primary p6 is a detailed program you need to have your the way you want your activities to be related um, and then you begin to program it accordingly right so we start with um, the first activity okay so um, let's look at okay is already a, a, a milestone the start milestone the WPS if you want to change this WPS this you can always select it but we are not doing that we have done that already the duration time you want it to you, you the, the way your, your your job is being rolled up do you want it to be by physical is it by the duration there as the day go, the day goes or is it that you want to be um measuring it yourself and updating the percentage completion or you want to do it based on the units that you have allocated to that activity so i can easily click and um, filter physical then i can select this work week i can assign so i can easily um assign my successor if i want to assign my successor for the activity one i can easily click here but uh, there's a faster way of doing this we i want to see more more icons under this detail view i just click i right click um then i select customize activity what do i want to see i want to see relationship um what else do i need to see let's say um okay for now i'm okay with relationship anything that i don't need i don't need it for now so relationship is here so what relationship does is to give you two views instead of you picking predecessor and successor one by one you can have the two views and then uh, you can do whatever you want to do so we are under an initiate project all right we are under initiate project so we want to establish the successor um, for initiate project so this is predecessor this is successor. of course predecessor is the activity before 
one an activity and um, successor is the activity after an activity so since it's the first um, um, activity on this list um, we do not need a predecessor for activity initiate project but we can assign um, the successor which is the project brief so you just click the project brief the second now, then you click this so you can see that um, that activity is already there so if you can navigate to the second activity which is project um, brief you can see that um, it's showing me that the predecessor for the project brief is already the shade project what do we want to do we want we are we are interested in the successor for um project brief so we come to this successor side we click assign um then we click architectural project we click assign all right so if you want to now these are the relationships that exist between um initiate project and um uh, and project brief rather and architectural design of course we have uh, four types of uh, relationship we have the finish to finish finish to start finish to start to finish and start to start wherever um, relationship you want you can always um, um, choose them so we can choose start to start that immediately you initiate the project the project brief starts all right that is the activity that we have chosen there. So if you want a lag, um, lag to the back, lag to the front, if you want um, to select um, how many days before or after the relationship between the two projects exists, how many days do you want to delay it to the back, negative, so how, how many days do you want to postpone the next activity before it starts. By way of relationship, you can um, pick as you want them fit all right so um we have um, established okay i need to remove one there um, let me remove this yes all right so this is the successor all right so now this project brief i'm going to to i want to add another successor to it immediately project brief starts Immediately, I start the architectural um, drawing. Okay, so um, the successor I want to choose. Um, sorry, test. Okay, I want to establish a relationship between um, project brief and soil test, so I can add a no doubt successor to project brief. All right and you, you you need to finish architectural drawing before you start structural but you don't need to finish architectural drawing before you start the soil test when you start the architectural drawing you can as well start the soil test so i go to um project brief this is the the, the activity in question i want to add soil test as um the second successor i click assign so I go to soil test, then I add it. What is the relationship there? I want it to start, uh, start to start at the same time, but I can lag it maybe um, for five positive days. All right, so I've been able to do that. So the next thing I want to do is to see what happens with architectural. So for architectural, of course, start to finish i mean finish to start to i want to the successor i want it to be structural structural all right so finish to start that relationship is okay then i come to mechanical so immediately act, um architectural is completed mechanical and electrical can go ahead so I had more, um, more successor to um, architecture. So I had this. I click hard. I come to electrical. 
I click add. All right. So now, what is going to be the relationship? What is going to be the relationship? Yes, um, architectural design. When they finish to start, is also good relationship, right? Okay. So the next activity is workshop. Um, um, electrical is here. So workshop drawing. Uh, I want to say that when structural is finished, I want to add workshop drawing as um, the successor to structural drawing. I click add. Okay, I've done justice to that for planning. All right. So I can go to mobilization to site. So mobilization to site, this predecessor for mobilization to site will be workshop drawing. I want the workshop drawing to be ready before um, my staff, I mean my contractor move to site. Okay, so I will click workshop drawing as the predecessor. So for the successor, of course, that um, will be foundation. So successor, um, I come down, I say foundation, I click add. All right, so um, I go to the next one, which is the foundation. Foundation, the successor for foundation, I can easily come here and pick a super structure. If I want to lag it, as the case may be, I can lag it. So I come to finish superstructure, the successor, I click um, um, finishes, I had it, I come to finishes, um, I want to pick the successor, I don't need this again, I pick MEP, I click add, I can add the kind of whatever relationship. I want to add lagging negative or negative side and on the positive side. So I come to MEP. So MEP is, an, is the last activity under execution. I'm not linking it to any other one. So I go to the fourth work breakdown schedule. So this work breakdown schedule now, scope verification start from foundation. All right. So what I do is um, as my successor for um, the, the, the the I want to choose the predecessor for scope verification to be foundation, right? So now this one I will need to um, click the relationship to be start to start. Then I can now lag it. I can leave maybe some 10 days, right? So I've established that, all right? So scope verification, I've um, established that. Then. So the successor to my scope um, verification, it takes a lot of time. So let me leave the successor. So also, I, I, I want to to click my change management the successor the predecessor also I want to to be foundation foundation the same foundation I can change the relationship to start to start all right they're starting at the same time I can lag it um, um, turn okay um so the last item is my snagging so i want to my snagging i pick snagging i want my the predecessor for my snagging to be mep mep is the last work there or let me say i can make it um mep let's assume i make it mep as my predecessor um mep is there Okay, let's pick the right snaggy. Okay, I'm a snaggy. I can choose MEP as my predecessor. Then I come to my successor side. 
um, I can choose handing over and commissioning. So what is the relationship? I click add. So what is the relationship? Finish to start. Of course, snacking must be completed before you now start um, commissioning and handover. Then I come to commissioning and handover. Then my successor, I can easily pick project closure. All right. So I have um, been able to establish the relationship. I can close this. I have been able to establish the relationship and I've used my relationship menu. You can as well do it one by one using your predecessor and individually, but it's smarter to use relationship that you see everything at the same time. You can see that um, the relationships are not yet showing. Why are they not yet showing on the and Gantt chart is because it's not activated. To activate it, all you just need to do is to to click. This is okay. To click, um, okay. To activate it, this is for the, the the the. This is the activity network, right? You click this. So when you click this, you can see the relationships are showing. But you can't really see them because you have not scheduled them. When you schedule them, they are properly positioned the way you want them to be. All right. So um, we have been able to fix the relationship between um, these activities. If you want to add some constraints, if you want to add some constraints, what you just need to do is to go to the status bar. All right. All you need to do is to go to the status bar and then um, any constraint you want to add, you can always add them. So you can say, um, for instance, um, commissioning and handover, you can say, it must start as late as possible it must finish on it must end on you know mandatory finish mandatory start you understand so any um, particular um, activity you want to um, add a constraint to so that when your um, primary p6 is scheduling it will be able to guide you accordingly can stay you can start on or after on or after um, these dates all right you can change the date as you want all right you can you can add further the next level of constraint start on or before start on or after as you want you pick the date so you can add your constraint here to any of these activities all right you can add your constraint so you can also add your resources so you can see now that you are not able to pick anything from this place because you are supposed to pull resources okay from the to, you are supposed to select assign resources from the your resource pool all right so for you to do that all you just need to do is to come here you need to create to create a resource you can come here you click the plus sign all right um, you can use this wizard to create the resource that you want okay let's leave the the, the resource ID so we can say um, um, you can just use um, Donald as um, resource number one all right is a labor is a person so we have three types of resource we have labor resource we have people we have non-labor resources which are the machineries and equipment and we have the material those are the supplies unit of measurement you can choose them also as you want this is a human being right so we have a pool under enterprise and under admin where you can also 
create um, the unit of the measurement all right you click next so um let's assume that um, donald will be collecting um hundred dollars per hour and it's going to work for eight hours per day all right and the maximum time if, if you want him to work over time you can increase this but we leave it there okay so if you want to add the email address of Donald, okay, you can always add that. You can add his email address as you want. All right. Okay, so you click next. Um, so if you want to assign a role uh, to the OBS to uh, Donald, Maybe he's an engineer, maybe he's a carpenter, maybe he's a plumber. You can do that here, but we leave that for now. All right, you can select his calendar. All right, or you can create a calendar. You know, the guy is going to go for leave, he's going to go for vacation. You can create a customized calendar for that resource that you have created. If you don't want to do that, you can say select an existing calendar. All right, you click next. Which um calendar is it going to be working with is it going to be six days you can click six days all right you can click next then auto compute actual or you want it to do it manually uh, in terms of resource how is going the resource will be accrued i mean to i mean how the, the unit will be accrued to this um um resource when auto compute is selected the actual units are updated assuming that work is proceeding according to plan the actual units are based on the percent complete of the activity this can be a significant time saver in gathering actuals for your project so you can click this if work is going on as per um, the way the percentage of work is being done okay so we click next then you see a congratulatory message when you see this congratulatory message you are good to go you click finish all right so we've created one resource you want to create another resource you click hard all right so you can say maybe this is a concrete uh, mixer um this is a concrete mixer all right so which type of um um resource type is this of course this is a material this is a material type okay so um that is um that all right if you want to create it to a uh, wizard you click this you just want to create it manually you had this one you can see the 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 hierarchy that is being created there from the resource pool you can always click here to um correct the hierarchy as um, you want it maybe this can be concrete I mean this can be cement all right so here yeah, we can clip um, material then the unit you can you, have, you can select you you can create your unit and um, the memory one and the secondary role as the case may be so we've created um resource so we we'll go back to our activity view and see what we have there all right so for us to just assign resource um all we just need to do you want to assign resource for project brief all right you click assign resource you just come and pick here that donald is going to uh, be responsible for um, the project brief so if there's any diff it's also a structural engineer you assign him also to that job all right and its cost of course will be accrued to um, the the project depending the cost depending on the duration that that job will be done all right 
So for instance, your structural, okay, let's say for foundation, you will need some cement, just an example. Uh, I can pick cement, I can add it, all right? So um, you can see that resource here, the material, the original lag and the budgeted unit. Maybe you, you can change the budget unit. Maybe we need 1,000 cement for that, all right? So as the case may be, anyhow you want it, you can um, always um, add um, the resource to it. We've been able to to look at this. So when you want to start a project, with the day the, that project starts, you make sure you click started, all right? Then um, you need to decide when um activities will be updated depending on the duration depending on the complexity um, of a project and the um, stakeholder requirement uh, there should be a stipulated time that activities will be updated um, it can be daily it can be weekly it can be two once in two weeks it can be monthly but there should be a way the most important thing is that you be a way through which um you you get your information from the field and you are able to update um your primary v6 because the beauty of primary v6 um the the, the, the kind of analysis you can get done from primary pixies you can easily get it done and use I'm, I leverage on the, on the kind of tools available here when you update it. That is when Primavera P6 will be able to give you a good um, overview of um, of how you are faring. It you will be able to analyze um, the available information and to take informed decision about um, your project so this is um, how to create a simple um, program of um, work depending what we have done is just to show um, what we can do We're just taking um, a sample project we are not particular about the actual duration and the actual um, activities is just um, an example for us to follow wherever we want to create our own program of work. Okay, so um, you can see that um, we are done with that. Um, so if you want to close any window, you can easily close it from here. WS window if you don't need it you can close it from here the activity window is showing and um, the project window is also showing to, like I said for us you to enter your project just click open project then you are in into the activity view so there are so many views that you can have from the layout depending on the one you want to get all right so uh, we have costs views um, we have um, two week look ahead view we have classic EPS view schedule analysis um, let's look at what we have here so this will show you um, what the jobs that uh, you are supposed to do in the next uh, two weeks this it can be very good um, when you are planning, you are writing your report for two weeks and look alike to easily bring out um, the activities that are due for that time. So um, I think um, we can go back to our view, which is the EPS. Um, it's another view, EPS, WPS layout. It's also a nice um, view that um, you can have. So we're formally here, then you can use this, any of these views 
um, depending on how you want it you are good to go so when you can see this thing has gone to 1999 2000 so when this disappears and you want to bring it back just double click it two times um, everything will come back so um, we are going to stop here today um, this lecture is a sequel to the first lecture if you have not uh, gone through the first lecture I will advise that um, you go to the first lecture so also um, in our next lecture we'll be looking at um, um, how to schedule how to enter our data and to perform some analysis um, to restructure to reschedule our um, program based on actual facts and reality and to perform some other um, activities so you can always um, subscribe to this channel so that you have access to um, more videos that uh, will be coming up thank you